Hello lovely people, let's make the beautiful thing that is homemade short crust sweet pastry. So good, so much better than anything you could buy. So the basis of this recipe starts with half fat to flour, and that's a principle that's been used for hundreds of years. We're gonna use a little sieve to put 250 grams of flour. Then we have the butter, and I'm just gonna rub the butter and flour together. Before I do that, I'm gonna add some sugar. There's 100 grams of icing sugar. So then I've got a vanilla pod here, the classic flavor. I'm just gonna squeeze this. You can always tell a good vanilla pod by it being sticky and sort of soft and gentle. Hello, buds. That's my little boy, buddy. Um, you all right, mate? Um, I'm making pastry, do you wanna help me? Cool, wash your hands. So I'm just gonna run my knife down the pod like this, scrape the inside out, and there are literally thousands of little seeds there, right? And it's incredible, look at this, smell that. Guess what that is? V, v. Vanilla. Yay! So if you can just get little knobs of butter and just squash it into the flour. Get a little handful and it's called rubbing. This is a rubbing method, okay? So Bud's is the king of that. He's gonna do that. Add a little sea salt, okay? Just a pinch. The salt's good to season the flour. And then what you can do is just a tiny gesture of lemon zest or any citrus. So we don't want to overtouch the pastry because the temperature of our hands is melting the butter. So we can stop now, buds, okay? Now I'm going to add a little swig of milk and I'm going to use the yolk of two eggs. The yolk is going to give you a richer, finer pastry. So I'll just use a fork now. You all right, buds? You watching and learning? Okay, can you just move that around, keep it in the bowl? So buddy, we're going to make this pastry to bake it blind. So look, I brought the pastry together. I'm gonna to wrap this up in cling film. So that goes in the fridge for about half an hour, an hour. Let it relax, let it chill. And then I'll show you how to roll it out. Okay, so uh, the pastry has rested um, and it literally does rest. It allows the gluten in the flour to relax and become more flexible. And in that time, if you feel it buds, it gets firmer. So this is all about lining the pastry mold. Dust a clean surface. You wanna get the pastry to a temperature that is kind of malleable. Get a rolling pin and give it a little whack. You're just kind of extending it. You're doing that initial bit of hard work. Give it an even push. And of course you can choose the thickness that you want. I'm gonna go about half a centimeter. Roll this up like that. Then I'm gonna put this pastry down like this. Let that sag in like that. We need to now bake this pastry shell blind. Just use this, if you just push that across, buds, right, it will naturally cut the pastry. Good lad, we got there. So what we've got now is a really easy, natural ending, right? And it's looking kind of pretty. This is a 12 inch mold. It's got a removable bottom. Oh, did I say bottom? Yeah. Oh God, I can't believe I just said bottom. Shall I say sorry? No. Okay, fair enough. Then what I'm gonna do is give this fork, can you poke little holes like that around the bottom, not up the sides though. If you don't do this, then sometimes the heat from the bottom of the oven can make the inside of the pastry case arc up. I'll have him work him in the restaurant soon. That is your prepared pastry case. You could freeze it. I'm gonna use quality cling film that is heat proof. And what I use is instead of baking beans, I'm gonna use baking rice. So I'm gonna pour that in, pat that down, dude, and let it go all the way up the side of the pastry. Really press it down. I'm gonna just bring the sides in like that. And we're gonna bake this for about 10 minutes. So baking blind means essentially cooking the pastry without color. Okay, so that's gonna go in the oven now for 10 minutes. Let's take it out. Now what's happened here, guys, is as you can see, the pastry is in perfect condition. We just pop that back in for five minutes. So the pastry is cooked, but it's not gonna move and it's not gonna shrink. Okay, so we've had five minutes, and here is our pastry case. So there you go, guys. That is the basic, beautiful pastry case. Woohoo! Look at that. Absolutely fantastic, although a little bit hot. There's so much you can do with that. Hopefully, you've got some good ideas of a good solid recipe. If you want to see me cook an incredible dessert, I'm going to do a maple pecan pie. You click the i button up there. Come on. Thank you, buddy. Say bye-bye to the lovely people. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>